Two serious surgical mistakes are reported at another local hospital. The health department says surgeons at Women and Infants Hospital in Providence left foreign objects inside two different women following two separate surgeries. Now the medical licenses of nine employees are under review and tonight we're hearing from both the hospital and the health department about this disturbing investigation. Ira DeSouza reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live from Women and Infants with the breaking details. Well, Mike and Karen, gauze was left in two women during uh, procedures here in the summer at Women and Infants Hospital. The Department of Health has just completed their investigation and released those findings to Eyewitness News. The first incident occurred July 24th when a gauze roll was left in a woman's vagina following childbirth. It was used to stop bleeding, and the Department of Health says hospital staff didn't follow procedure until the next team, a piece of gauze was inside the woman. What the health department found with that particular incident was the obstetrical team um, had not clearly communicated patient information to the next obstetrical team that was coming on a change of shift. And as a result, that piece of gauze was left inside the patient. The second incident occurred on August 25th. That's when a piece of blue thread, like what's seen here, separated from the gauze and was left in a patient's abdomen during a gynecological procedure. The blue thread is x-ray sensitive, and the Department of Health found the hospital didn't take an x-ray after the procedure to make sure all of it had been removed. Uh, both patients had come back to the hospital in late September for follow-up treatments, and that's when these pieces of gauze were found in the patients. As, uh, as you said, seven physicians, one nurse, and one nurse, nurse anesthesiologist have been referred to their licensing boards by the Department of Health. Now we have another eyewitness news crew in the hospital at this time getting reaction from the hospital, and we hope to have that for you on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, we are live with breaking news with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.